Hey guys, back with another educational video and this week we're talking about rep ranges for different fiber types. Over the years there's been a lot of discussion about what's the best rep range for different muscles. Different muscles have different compositions. You have type 1 fibers, you have type 2 fibers, and then you have your intermediate fibers. Now the type 2 fibers are your big fibers that have the most potential for growth. Now previously a lot of people have postulated that maybe you should train different muscles with different repetition ranges because some muscles have more type 1 fibers and other muscles have more type 2 fibers. And type 2 fibers are your explosive fast twitch fibers. And people have thought, well, maybe you should train those heavy with low reps, you know, really target the type 2 fibers. Where well, they've said with type 1, if you do high reps, that's going to target those muscle fibers. Based on the Heinemann principle, which is the principle of recruitment, whereby muscles recruit fiber types from slowest to intermediate to fastest as they fatigue, you should, if you're training close to failure, recruit all your fibers. So if you're training high reps, for example, when you initially start training in the first few reps, you're gonna be recruiting a lot of type one fibers and not much of the fast twitch fibers. But as you begin to fatigue, that muscle is going to start recruiting those fast twitch fibers as it approaches fatigue. So my thought has always been, it probably doesn't make a big difference uh, in terms of hypertrophy, training one versus the other or trying to train based on fiber type breakdown. But a new study came out that was the first study that kind of examined this. It was really elegantly designed. What they did was they had resistance trained men train for eight weeks and they either had them doing uh, for their calves low reps with heavy weight, six to 10 reps, or high reps for a lightweight of 20 to 30 reps. What they did that was really cool was they let each person serve as their own control. They trained one leg with high reps and one leg with low reps for their calves. And they looked at hypertrophy after the eight weeks. Now both groups were training close to fatigue or close to failure in each group. So they were doing the same number of difficult sets. What they found was there was no difference in hypertrophy of the calf muscles, which seems to be in line with the research that we've had thus far, which shows that it doesn't seem to matter whether you use high reps or low reps, in the short term at least, hypertrophy is going to be the same if you're doing the same number of hard sets and taking them close to failure. It doesn't seem like you need to worry about targeting specific muscles with high reps or low reps based on fiber type breakdown. More so, you should use a range of repetition schemes to ensure progressive overload and also not beat yourself up too much. Again, I use low reps for heavyweight and high reps for lightweight for variety seems to be possibly a little bit better just to avoid stagnation and even just fatigue of getting bored with the same repetition schemes. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you like the video. Click on the links in the description if you wanna check out some of our educational material and make sure you subscribe. You're probably already subscribed, but hey, if you aren't and you come across this video and you're not subscribed, come on, man, hit that subscribe button. Catch you next time.